Welcome everyone. We have a live stream for Patch 1.6. It started a little earlier. So Patch 1.6 with the Klee banner started about half hour earlier than what I expected. And let me just get in the setup ready. So hey there buddy, hey there, come home Zoli. Welcome buddy. Welcome, welcome everyone. So yeah, definitely <laughs> you can see me fuddling a little bit because the I was preparing for the stream and the stream actually started half hour earlier. So we're a little ahead of time. No, I like Pamon talk. Let's go find her. She'll probably be happy to see us too. <laughs> well, come on, come guys. Where would she be at this time of day? I'll let Pamon talk a bit. So we might as well check with the knights. There's a few things we want to check. Firstly, let's grab the Pamon gems, and there's two Pamon codes that is currently available in the game. So let's grab those Pamon gems. Those are the 600 Pamon gems. The first thing I want to highlight with you guys are the Pamon code, and we're gonna find out how much those Pamon code provide. So here I have provided two promo codes for us, and those are the two new promo codes for Patch 1.6. And it's time for the Genshin, Genshin Epic. We've been teasing this. Okay, we will claim Genshin Epic, and let's claim Genshin Galaxy. So Genshin Pack just went on to the Galaxy store and also the Epic store. And that's why there's two promo codes. I'm hoping for at least 60 promo gems for them. And them. <laughs> we got <laughs> we got debated. <laughs> there are no gems. <laughs> <laughs> Those are no promo code for gems. <laughs> Those are utility promo code. <laughs> hey, hey guys. I'll co I'll copy paste the promo code for you guys. They're promo codes, they're not promo gem codes, unfortunately. <laughs> oh, you got debated. I was so excited. I was checking the live patch half hour before it comes out. I was like, get my hands ready for the promo codes. You know, we got two this time, not just one. <laughs> I guess they don't really promoting the two stores that much, right? Not even 30 promo gems. I mean, come on now. <laughs> That's not nice. <laughs> oh, grab them anyways. It's not bad. For a new player, those are decent. But for us, we, we're looking for the shiny gems. So that is the first thing. The second thing I want to go through the stream today is not to go through the content. Because, you know, I don't want to go through the content and spoil everything for you guys. And we did start a little early. What I want to do is I want to introduce my vessel build to you guys. And there is a weapon I'm thinking of trying. It is, I'm not going to try the Klee banner. And I won't go for my vessel constellations. She's on constellation 2. What I'm thinking of trying is I want to try this special vessel ball. And I have been working and planning for the vessel ball. So the two things we'll try is my vessel build with the physical damage. She has all Euler's artifacts. So those are my physical artifacts. I want to try the free to play, um, I mean the four star, maybe not free to play, but four star bow and also a four star team, majority four star team. And the second thing is we want to try the gene skin. So we can, we can get the gene skin first, right? <laughs> let, let, let's have a look at the gene skin. <laughs> I know, I don't want to promote the sales for the gene skin. What? Actually, you know what? Let's go for the wish room for the festival or should we try the gene skin? Hmm, I don't want to promote buying the gene skin, but it looks pretty nice, right? <laughs> so, before we go and buy the gene skin, keep in mind guys, there's a lot of ways to buy this. I have made a video on this one. The best way is to actually buy a bunch of the monthly card. Notice I'm at 167 days. You can buy up to 100 and also 180 days. And this will actually give you a lot of value, but you don't get the gems right away. And that's the best way. And um, yeah, I'll get this gene skin and we'll give it a try. Don't get, don't feel forced to buy the gene skin, guys. It does not give you any special ability or anything. It is, you also need a character. Be aware, you also need a character. And let's try it out. I just want to try it out, to be honest. And I don't think this is much of a spoiler. This is like more of trying the character out. So, well, come on, come guys. Yeah, I really want to not promote spending in the game because the gene skin is not a free to play skin. It is a paid skin. So who are we gonna go? <laughs> uh, text only out. So, to we may try leave at Jin. any time. <laughs> now I gotta find a way to get Jin into the party, right? So this is what Jin looks like before the skin. She is very well dressed as a knight. Now if we go to the dressing room, which is a new feature, there is a new dressing room. I it's a four star skin. The sea hey, why did they not make five star skin? So the code is redeemable, that's right my friend. But unfortunately the code did not give promo gems. It gave it gave those things. They give ten thousand mora and a bunch of random food. Unfortunately, that's what they gave. There's two code. I'll post the code again for you guys again. Yeah, zero gems. Very, very disappointing. I was so hyped that it just came early. This is a Jin skin. She looks much cooler. Pretty happy with this. And we'll run around with her a bit. So cute, right? Hey, our girl looks good. She looks light and relaxed. <laughs> that's a good thing. Now, we'll try the Jin scout as we do a few things with festival as well. 
So now the focus of the stream is actually this. I got to. <laughs> I, I have bad memories of this. It's like post traumatic order from last time. So what I'm planning to do is I have built my vessel before the stream and I do plan to show you guys my vessel build because I think as a free four star character that most of us do have, vessel can be very powerful. And I'm thinking to run Fessel on the 5 star team with ones only, only 5 star, or a 4 star team that's all 4 stars. And I have been working on my Fessel for the past few days. As you can see over here, I have gotten her talents normal attack to level 9. There's also a lot of tricks with her normal attack. So we'll be focusing on her normal attack. And currently I'm using the battle pass weapon. I do plan to get a 4 star bow and try the physical weapon out. So this is the plan. Uh, you break your <laughs> promise on the weapon banner. Yeah, not the weapon banner, that's why I want to warn you guys. Terrible ideas on the weapon banner if you're going for the 5 star weapons. I have been trying to try a few of the 4 star weapons, and this time we're not going for the 5 star weapon. We're still going for the 4 star weapon, just zero constellation. <laughs> and as you can see, last time I went for the alley flash, I stopped at the alley flash. What I want to show you guys is, yeah, I haven't actually, how much, how much did I roll? Oh, I wrote quite a bit. So I'm looking at my banner history. So my last pity was on the Wolf's Gravestone, and that's about... 20, 30 wishes ago, so I'm about 40 wishes away from pity. If I do get the Lost Prayer, I'm actually pretty happy. I don't have a Catalyst for 5 star, but if I get the Skyward Pride, I won't be too happy. So, there's a risk for me. So let's get started. And, do you still play other chairs space games? I don't that much, because we haven't been getting another lot update, and I haven't been playing much of the other games. I was hoping for another update, but it never came. Valve failed us. Now what I'm hoping for guys is to not use my 5 star here. I'm actually hoping to not get a 5 star on the weapon banner. <laughs> that moment. <laughs> so about every 8 wishes we can get a purple. And about 1 in 3 or 1 in 4 chance we can get the bow. I'm really hoping we don't go over 40 wishes to be honest. Yeah 40 should be the, the average to get this bow. And my entire build for today is focused on the bow so <laughs> I'm really interested in trying to build. I have tried TFT actually. I was top 100 in Oceanic server for TFT, but it just did not connect with me that much after that. It was it was nice, very challenging, and I actually like the Dota heroes, because you know I have like a big history of Dota and I used to play Dota all the time. Now let's focus on the summons. With the weapon banner guys, the oh I used seven wishes so far. Uh we did eight wishes, usually about the eight or the ninth one we get a purple. So please be a good purple. This is so hard actually. Please be the bow. Oh my god, we have been blessed guys. I saved my 50, 50 pity. So I didn't have to use my 5 star. I, I didn't want to get a 5 star. <laughs> thank you for the subscribe buddy thank killer. You, thank you Good so to much see you buddy. Subscribe, my friend. Thank you, thank welcome, you. Welcome. Perfect timing too. Thank you so much for the support. I do think we have about every time you get a 4 star item, you do have a 40%, oh no, 40, 20% chance of getting this one. Because you get to see this fire breed up weapons and we're going 1 out of 5. I don't need those to be honest, I just want the bow. Just one bow so we can try it. <laughs> like, yeah, so nice, right? <laughs> I've been really lucky lately with the banners. I've been getting my 50-50. I'm not touching the Klee banner, even though those characters look great. We don't have the constellations. That's fine. <laughs> That's what's going to be so happy. Let's put this on. Yeah, I do have those two bows, but I think last time we had a feedback, our, like, our viewers and also players don't really want to like go for the five-star bows, and they can be quite difficult. So this time, I won't say this is a completely free-to-play bow, but this is achievable for most of the players. I mean, be aware guys, I was expecting to roll 40 times on the weapon banner. So this bow comes as a bonus. Speaking so my name and don't, don't do like what I did. <laughs> if you're trying to roll for the bow, sometimes it doesn't come. But if you get really lucky, he actually looks pretty good on her, right? So notice this is the level 1 refinement. This is how it looks, but the bow is going to change color and also shapes as you upgrade the bow. And let's do it together. Quite excited. <laughs> Looking good, right? Which banner were we summon? For I only summon on the weapon banner this time. Yeah, what happened here? Oh yeah, they allow us to put 20 weapons now in. If you guys have a look at this one, it used to be 10, now they allow us to put 20 weapons with updates. I know, so lucky, right? <laughs> you guys bring me good luck as well. I prepared enough resources to get Fessel to level 10, uh, level 90, to get the bow to level 90 as well. Oof, been working hard, guys. <laughs> okay, this is actually a little bit slow. We have been collecting those as well, so been working really hard. <laughs> the stuff of Homer gave me so much nightmare. <laughs> I even dreamed about it. 
if you saw the videos after the stuff of Homer, I made like two videos about it. I was like, gosh, this is not right. So I went into the research about the chance of getting the bow of the, the staff of Homer. It was really low. I think it was about 20% compared to the Wolf's Gravestone. <laughs> Guess who has been collecting weapon odds nonstop? Hey there, Tedinus. Thank you, thank you so much thank for the support, somebody. my friend. Welcome, welcome. Thank you so much for the support. Welcome, guys. In case you guys are wondering, why am I not streaming on YouTube? Because the the live patch actually came out half hour earlier. I was not prepared for my YouTube setup. I have my Twitch default setup, and I was like, yay, let's go for the promo code. So I got a Twitch default setup, I got it ready, and I'm going for the promo Oh, I'm not sure I have those. <laughs> so I got the Twitch setup, so I just started Humble streaming. Supplication. We'll post this on YouTube as well. Notice our bow is lighting up. Notice this bow earlier? It was very great. Now the bow is actually getting the purple themes. As you level up the bow, you actually change the, the visual appeals. I'm not trying to sell the bow, guys. <laughs> but I actually like the details here. So I have enough of this. Do I? I do, right? Yeah, I've got plenty. I checked. Uh, make sure you get Sakura's extra benefit. Yeah, she's so good. Look, we got 11 double. So, let's keep going. I will actually amaze you guys with the bow. I'll be testing on the 4 star weapons before I get the bow. But, you know, getting the bow is really nice. Uh, if you hold the mouse button, it will select all the gems to upgrade. Yeah, that's right. I'm holding on the mouse button to select the the ores to upgrade over here. Yeah, it looks so good on Fessel, right? Lovely, lovely. And the yeah, it fits on the natural characters and the theme's really beautiful for the Inuzuma characters to come as well. And as to the special weapon per character, you see, there's a concern. You don't want to have a weapon that's made for one character because you might get new characters and this weapon may won't be that useful. And it kind of forces you to go for the weapon and this may be like not the best promotive way. So let's go for one and one. Look at those. So some games have the specific weapon for characters. Sometimes it's good, sometimes it's actually very costly. I like the great Genshin Impact Destiny now. It can work on Festival and other characters, but it doesn't have to be for them. That's what I think is good. Hmm, Sakura's good. And yeah, if you have a weapon that has to be on the character or the character that has to have the weapon, this can be very expensive. Oh, I only got one. Perfect. I counted perfectly. Wait. A battle. <laughs> it's like 1 in 10 chance. Electro buffs. Oh, oh my gosh. 1 in 10 chance. Someone's getting lucky today. I should buy a lottery ticket after the stream. <laughs> it's actually too far away. <laughs> but someone's getting lucky today. <laughs> Actually, no, the news agency is across the station. I have to work like 30 minutes to get there. <laughs> but yeah, someone's lucky. <laughs> super, super nice. So. Yeah, if you're saving for the Monte Carlo Jin, that can also work too. So this is the major thing with the boat. Notice this, a lot of physical damage bonus. The base attack is actually pretty nice too. So really happy about this boat. And my festival physical build is going to be ready. It does cost a lot of the weapon, it has more though. That's okay. Look at the damage. Over 500 to 510. Yeah, 510. And it's over over 51% physical damage bonus. It's so good, right? Still, not trying to sell the bow to you guys, guys. This bow, keep in mind, I got lucky this time. I was expecting to get 40 wishes for this bow. My attack went from the 2000 to 2143. Before I was using this better medicine hunt with a critical rate. Now I'm using the physical damage bonus. So before we start, let me show you guys my details. We're looking at the base stats for Vessel. About 27% critical rate, not the highest, not the highest critical damage, but our physical damage is beautifully at 135%. And I think he might be better than Rust, because this bow's special ability increase our normal attack by 20% when we cast the elemental spells, which we do cast a lot. Now, there's two teams on the test festival. The first team is gonna be my entirely free-to-play team, like four stars, and everything, all the weapons are four stars here. No one has any five star except the artifacts. The second team is gonna be a safer team with Zonli. This team does not do that much damage, but Zonli allows no one dies. Because <laughs> notice this thing, everyone's level 80, 79, and 90. This team is more squishy, but it does more damage. I so let's try the squishy one. Yeah, I got a Jin skin. I got a Jin skin, that's skin. right. But well, I'm trying to test Vessel out. I did get the Jin skin. I'll show the Jin skin after as well. So before we start the fight with Vessel, 
if you plan to use a physical facial build, I'll show you her attack animation. Notice after 3 attacks, she starts to jump back, and the last 3 attacks are very slow. So what people are saying is, if you look at her talents, and look at her attack multipliers, the last 2 are 106 and 132. This might not be worth it, or this may be worth it, I'm not leveling this up. So what people do is, there's 2 ways, you attack 3 times, you dash once, you attack 3 times. So you just multiply the fast attacks with the 3 attacks. This method costs stamina. You can double press your zoom and actually exit. This is the professional way, I'll show you guys, I've been practicing this one. 1, 2, 3. You double press the zoom. 1, 2, 3. Notice this gives her the best efficiency in terms of attack. But you can get it wrong if you don't zoom properly. So that's just beforehand. Usually I just normal attack with her. Yes, attack cancelling. I've been practicing that as well. <laughs> been doing something, doing a lot of testing on Vessel. So, what I'm planning to test her on are the weekly boss. Let's start with Child and see how we go. Yes, this bow is going to be a little hard for Yomiya because she doesn't do physical damage. She is more pyro damage. I had a look at her stats and also her abilities. I'll be making a detailed video for us on Yomiya very soon. But just, you know, so excited for 1.6 as well. So we're going to focus on the current content, and we still got, you know, 42 days for the new content. I'll be making video guides on Yumiya, Saru, and also Yaka. Lots of changes. Quite hard to come by. Well then, this one. Me. Surrender is a valid option. I promise so. I'll be gentle. Notice I'm trying to get my debuff on. So now look at the damage. So we're hitting for 3,000 normal attack, but we're actually dying quite fast, right? Now let's see, I actually have a food plan as well. So I've been cooking those food. Where did it go? <laughs> Uh, food, food, attack food, please. This is the Fazzle specialty, the Die Hellage Sunfold. This is actually her specialty food to give 55% bonus physical damage. We're gonna try this one. <laughs> I made it for Fizzle last time. It's beautiful. It's also this one that gives physical damage and critical rate. We're gonna try this one first. It's 1 out of 10 chance to get this one when you cook the special food, by the way. I want to have the shield down first. Poor time. You can't run. And we'll get a little Zero crit. Oh, look at the damage, guys. Try this. Oh, yeah, I'm very squished. Oh, 10,000, 12,000. Did you see that? <laughs> Did you see the 12,000, guys? <laughs> Looking great, right? This is a free to play 4 star team, by the way. Yeah, we're hitting pretty hard numbers. And I think the DPS of her is actually very high. We're doing pretty good damage on the 4 star vessel team, aren't we now? Yeah, this is actually a really good combo. And you know those characters. This is actually showing that we can still make those characters work. Oh my, oh, my combo's going. This is oh my god, he moved. <laughs> Stop moving, girl. Yeah, 10,000. Yeah, really high numbers here. I just make sure I have him debuffed. And we don't need to cast ultimate anything. This is just a pure DPS machine. <laughs> and she attacks really fast. As long as they can cast my spells and you know protect her, she will not be able to she will not die, then she will do a lot of damage. I do think I need more critical rate, I agree. So notice here we only have 27% critical rate. Universe in so not bad though. Yeah, she hits fast. That's the thing. Oh, those are not bad. The Jin scan change idol animation. We're gonna try the Jin skin very soon. Actually, now that we had a look at Fessel build, let's try the Jin skin. I think that's a good chance too as well. So, which team should I go with the Jin skin? I think this is a good team, right? I also want Zhongli. Now nah, we don't need Zhongli. Let's try the Jin skin. But we're coming back to the Fessel, guys. So we're trying testing out with the weekly boss, but you can see the power Fessel there. It's actually pretty amazing. And this is the four star bow. We can try her with the 5 star bow, I don't think it will do that much. And this is actually very nice. So, confirm reality the game, what happened? Uh, the game is not supposed to be out for some reason. It's still, before I was checking, it's supposed to be on maintenance. But maybe it came out early for me. Oh, you got the Fessel bow as well? Very nice, very nice. But keep in mind guys, it's quite hard if you just go in for a 4 star bow. Average 40 rolls for that. So, you know, don't... Don't spend or don't overpay for that bow. I'm not trying to promote the bow, I just think it's a really good idea to try it out. And I want to show you guys what's possible with the 4 star free to play combos. Yeah, let's try the thing speed. I don't think the animations are different. 
Yeah, it's pretty much similar. Oh my gosh, he killed Jean. I was supposed to heal too. And now I don't have any heals that bad. It's okay, we'll heal up. I was talking too much, I checked on the chat. I wasn't aware of what's happening. He killed Jean right away. Chappy monster. <laughs> I'm chappy too. <laughs> it's too chappy and too strong for us. <laughs> okay, usually I have Zoni here, so I don't care about the damage. But because we don't have Zoni, this might be a little difficult. Because you want someone that can shield you. So now I have to pop potions. Because when he goes his, into his face and you don't have a shield, you'll die like this. <laughs> might even lose here. Oh gosh. Can you stop? And can you not be over this? <laughs> yeah, usually it's only here, I just tank it. <laughs> hey, Kev. Well, come on, come on, I'm not prepared at all, guys. Jean's supposed to heal us and not die. Yeah, without the shield, we're gonna take extra damage. This doesn't look good. I'm hoping I kill him before he kills me here. You can still attack the tree here. But these guys are much more tricky. Oh gosh. Okay. <laughs> I'm so dead, guys. I am not prepared. <laughs> the character. Yeah, this is not my usual team for him. Usually I need zone E for the shield. Oh, ka -ching. Oh no, my rebuff still takes a little longer. <laughs> I'm trying to pop potion. This is actually the hardest fight I had for like years. Actually, I was gonna revive the loot, the hockey wasn't working. Uh, who did I revive? I revived the chain. Okay then. <laughs> Hardest fight ever. I think Kajin can do it. Yeah, we can do it. <laughs> so hard. <laughs> that was so hard. <laughs> okay, that, that would do what I do here. Usually, Azmadan... Oh, we got three materials. Not bad. <laughs> Usually, Azmadan is going to deal extra damage to you if you don't have a shield. Any shielding character, Noel, Diana, Zonli, they can work. But <laughs> if you don't have a shielding character, when you hit him, he's going to do damage to you. And there's a lot of interruptions that shield can protect you. And that's why Zoni was so powerful. But I wanted to try the Jin skin. So, now this is the ultimate challenge. We're gonna try Storm Terror with Fessel. That's right. <laughs> Usually we'll try him with Ganyu. Probably a terrible idea, but let's give it a try, guys. I'm pretty excited for my Fessel build. And you saw how strong she is with Child. What we're gonna do is, we're gonna try her again. Oh, we're gonna, not gonna reach on Rosera, right? Yeah, Rosera's not gonna reach. Let's finish this. Actually, she swiftly. can reach. Why can she? Ah, let's put Rosera in. Uh, what did she got? Zara? Sooner we're yeah, done, fine. the better. So, we're gonna try Storm Terror with Vessel. Then, what I'm planning to do is, I'm planning to try Vessel with a 5 star bow and also a 4 star bow and show you guys the difference. Because I have five star bows. <laughs> I have two of the five star bows. I'll try the strongest with the Skywar Hub, and then I try the four star bow to show you guys the difference. Both are level 92. Uh, bow goes for Child. Child doesn't need the physical damage, that's the only thing. Gather. Oh, shouldn't I be charging? <laughs> I should also have a potion. Let's try this one. This is the one that gives you critical rate and also physical damage. So notice that you can boost. I'll show you my festival stats, by the way. So this is after the potion. So it's 35%. And look at the physical damage. 180% physical damage. And the prince <laughs> there you go. Yeah, this is my physical machine gun. <laughs> yeah, you can shoot Storm Terror while he's in there. While he's in that. I'm <laughs> fully not getting my combos properly. Yeah, this is my plan. Uh, a little slower. <laughs> I was hoping this to be faster. 
But notice this helps. This is definitely the slower version of the normal attack. Probably not the best candidate for Stone Terror. Yeah. Let's go back. I'll show you guys how I normally do Stone Terror. I was thinking that Fessel can deal with Stone Terror. I think Fessel's better with Child. With Test on Child. <laughs> not the best combo on Stone Terror here. I'll show you guys how I do Stone Terror. <laughs> yeah, different characters have different abilities that work differently. And for Stone Terror, we can't get close up to him to actually debuff him with the Super Conduct. And that's what gives us a majority of the good damage we have. Must feel bad for DPS. Uh, 5,000 crit. We got 10,000 crit before. That's right. This is what I do with the Stone Terror. No, oh, I missed. <laughs> I was supposed to time his positioning and shoot him right away. So usually as he flies towards you, you can actually shoot a few times. Here you go. Yeah, Ganyu is actually the best candidate for Stone Terror because you don't have to climb. And the charge attack is perfect here. Yeah. And notice how it's really powerful. And it's like, he's a sitting duck here. Yeah. If I had two power characters, I can one-shot him here. Yeah. Well, how, not perfect, I one-shot him. Two power characters give me the just enough damage to one-shot him. <laughs> hey there, buddy. Well, come on, come guys. Looking good, drive. Okay, looking good. Oh, you know what? Let's try our Fessel on the wolf boss because he's usually immune to other damages and perfect time to try him over here <laughs> yeah i really like to show off the vessel build been testing out and after that we'll try on child again with two different bows i'm gonna show you guys the difference because to be honest uh let's go with the safer build right yeah this is safer <laughs> oh it, just, it doesn't work on quite over i can't go super conduct on the boss though yeah, we can't go super conduct here because Quiet doesn't work. You we gotta keep in mind that. That's okay. Uh, party setup key? I haven't checked that. I actually didn't go into the story because I didn't want to give you guys any spoilers. I want to try the character, then I play the story on my own time and actually find the puzzles first and then we'll make the video on it. Let me get some water. <laughs> computer job. I'm terrible with IT, my friend. <laughs> I'm actually terrible with IT. I had my friend to help me set everything up, and when something goes wrong, I was like, no, audio doesn't work. <laughs> it took me hours to figure something out. And it turns out the mic just wasn't connected properly. So, this carrying team setup is optimal for damage boost, but it does not have super conduct, which is a big factor for us to deal more damage. Okay, anyway. I'm actually from Australia, guys. So in case you guys are wondering, I'm from Australia, Sydney. Let's look at my damage. Mm, looks okay. 9,000, 3,000. Pretty rapid damage though. Okay. That's just the net for additional damage boost. So getting all the pops here. And currently we do not have the Tesla bed for the bonus damage, but we'll quit for 12,000 then. Oh, I hate you. He left. <laughs> it's that guy I'm fighting you over here. Not bad, right? Yeah, you mean a stability looks really nice, Stabilize. I have to say. Hey, is there three effects change with... I don't think there's any changes with her skin, it's just the appearance of the character. No ability changes, nothing really major. So, in terms of if, like... It's only there for a little different group. If you guys are considering buy or not buy her, I would have to say it doesn't give you any boost. It does make her look a little different. My royal decree. So, look at my damage. 8,000. Uh, 3,000, 12,000. So a lot of variety of critical hits. It's so rapid. Notice with Xenia now come, I did about 12,000 or like 100,000 damage very rapidly. And I think that's the biggest part. It's the DPS with you. So notice my damage is not at the highest. I'll put a bird out, and this is the bonus damage for the next few seconds. Yeah, there we go. We got the wolf done. Uh, perfect. We'll spend one. Usually, I'm happy to spend one. Only for the 51. 
everything else I won't I'm not willing to spin. Oh, we got three as well. So the final check for this stream, for the Fessel build stream, is gonna be over here. I want to show you guys the difference on Fessel with a five star bow and a four star bow. I think she she definitely deserves a lot of credits. And I'll show you guys my entire setup as well. So this is the build. Thanks, Blue Thank Flame. You, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, my friend. Welcome, welcome. Thank you so much for the support. Currently, we're using a refinement level one with a patch of my six new four star bow for the bonus normal attack and also the physical damage. After that, we're using the Eula set, which is just the physical set. So here we have the all the critical rate, critical chance attack. So those are coming from my Eula, as you can see over here, and attack percent, physical damage bonus, and also critical rate bonus. After that, the team is the aimed to give her to pile and also pile for bonus damage, pile for the superconduct, and the she's so happy to talk. So finally, I do recommend going for the critical rate if you don't have much critical rate. If you do, get this one for the highest damage. Oh, is there one more code today, buddy? Oh, what's the other code? Uh, well, I've heard of two codes, so in case you guys are wondering, those are the two codes, but it doesn't give primal gems though, unfortunately. So we're going to use the critical rate one for child. And night. first one you're going to see is going to be the testing of this particular bow. And next one, I'll show you guys Skyward Hub. Uh, let's have a look at the difference. You didn't bring it. So everything will be the same. We just want to see the difference between the two. We'll see how fast I take child down on the first phase. And I won't... This I'll just use the same rotation of character by. skills. Well then, amuse so. me. Surrender is a valid option. I promise I'll be gentle. This is the same rotation of... Oh. What happened to my HP here? <laughs> Cowering already. I think I actually did a lot of damage. I'm actually scared for my HP. What a nuisance. So let's do this. <laughs> well, I was like, what, what happened? So, let's see. I want to see the highest damage I can deal. Definitely was not expecting that. No <laughs> okay, okay. Let's. Let's do this again properly. <laughs> Which that's only <laughs> with only this never happens. Cause my my what you call it? My <laughs> Xin Yan, she's not very high leveled and she doesn't have enough gears to give her a sustainable shield. <laughs> islands are here. I haven't gone to the islands, I don't want to give you guys any spoilers. So this is the majority for the Fessel test on the weapon here. Yes, islands are out. We do have to do the click quest for the islands. So let's try again. Nothing changes, and I guess I don't need Chien, huh? Yeah, I do need a superconductor. Where's my superconductor? Make sure to keep up. Actually, I can still use Chien for the shield. We'll do that for sure. Catching code for each of them. Oh, that's an old by. one though. Well, yeah, that one will have you stick for Surrender so is a double shield. Option. I promise I'll be gentle. The focus is on how much damage you can do. Yeah, 13,000, 16,000. Oh, that's actually really good damage. There you go, 100,000 damage DPS. And this is the 5 star, no, this is the 4 star bow test. So we're gonna try the 5 star test on the same combo. This is what I'm gonna show you guys. <laughs> Electric buff, I believe Superconduct and Elemental Mastery are buffed, but I, I'll look into the stats first. After the stream, I'll have a look at the stats. So now I'm gonna try the same bow. Oh, you know, we'll try the same build, but a different bow. So we still have the food going. Let's try the five star bow and let's look at the difference. Let's see if we can quit for sixteen thousand. And you know, same characters. This we'll use the same opportunity is quite hard to come by. Well then, amuse me. Surrender is a valid option. I promise I'll be gentle. So notice the damage is actually slightly. Oh, we got a six seventeen thousand quit. Uh, then let's see. Not bad. So the other one did about 16,000 crit. This one did 17,000 crit. The biggest crit actually comes from this particular normal attack. So on her fifth normal attack is 132%. So in that sense, the this is a one refinement five star bow, and this was compared to a one refinement four star bow. I think I think that's not bad, right? So you can see it's very close. That's why the physical festival is actually not bad. And I think that should highlight the stream because I don't want to give you guys spoilers for the islands. I will look for the treasures and then we'll make a special video. 
Because if you watch the stream, you look at the spoilers, you'll be like, I want to play myself, right? So that's why I want to focus on special build with the weapons and to try a few things out. Before we go, let me show you Jin's skin again, in case you guys are wondering. So yeah, this way we can post on YouTube as a festival guide too. <laughs> this is one of my festival attempt guides. This is the Jin skin, in case you guys are planning to buy the skin. Looks very light and very relaxing. Personally, if you're asking me, if I'm trying to be efficient with money, I probably won't buy the skin, because I need the 5 star character first. Then we need the skin, then we, you know. It's the same girl, <laughs> it's just a different skin. She does look really cute though. So, you know, make sure you consider your financial situation before you consider for the skin. And hopefully you guys enjoyed this short stream. Yeah, offline, I'll be working on the guide for us on the islands, and hopefully I got a video done today. If not, I'll post one for tomorrow. Did add new map to the official int? Oh, that's what I was checking too. So, this is what he meant. I was hoping that they added uh, we have area to do. for the official region, but they did not. So you notice this is the official interactive map that shows you where all the chests are. I was gonna cheat, I was specifically like, you can just find the chest here. But no, the limited area zone is not added here. So, we'll do it the hard way. I'll pinpoint the treasures first, and we'll come back to this one. So thank you so much for watching guys and thank you for your support on Twitch and also on YouTube. I will see you guys again on YouTube. Today the, the video came onto Twitch first because I was not prepared on YouTube stream. It came out half hour early. So thank you again for watching guys. I'll see you guys next time onto YouTube. Thank you.